transcendent others during this ceremony symbolizes the relinquishing of command by Brigadier General Kavanaugh and by accepting the colors. Lieutenant General Kavanaugh accepts command and confirms his total commitment to the Marines and Sailors that he will command. Sergeant Major Michael Pritchard is delivering the colors to the commanding general. Please remain seated for the passing of the colors. Duties and will relinquish command and report as the Deputy Commander of Fleet Marine Force Atlantic, Marine Forces Command, Marine Forces Northern Command. Signed, David H. Berger, General, 38th Commandant of the Marine Corps. 38th Commandant of the Marine Corps. I hope you took the opportunity when they passed that flag to just look around and take in really what just happened, as the Commandant talked about. You never know if you're going to get that view again. No doubt. Marine Forces North will have a big part in our strategy to get after that. My strategy is not focused on any game defeat in the homeland. Certainly there are things we must defeat, deter, that are threats to our homeland, but we're really focused on campaigning day-to-day, -day integrated deterrence. Marine Forces North brings that to us. Now, taking his position in the reviewing area is the 38th Commandant of the Marine Corps, General David H. Berger. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remain standing for honors. Beyond where General Langley could take it, tells me all that I need to know about what you think of the Marines here and what they think of you. Because you could not have made progress. The work you did with Second Fleet, the work you did with Fleet Forces Command wouldn't have happened unless the Marines had a tremendous amount of confidence in you. For you and those forces fully deployed, like I said, we walked away with a true creation of how important that is in defending the homeland. So thank you, leadership, and thank you for your guidance. Vice Admiral Kilby, I know that they have served his absolute pleasure to work with you and the entire staff. God bless Central Dallas. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony.